I thought I would start out this series by powering up my old Power Mac 8500 and let's just see what's on it. This computer hasn't been turned on in about 20 years. Let's see if there's anything on the hard drive, see if it still boots, see if it even works anymore. If you like old Macintosh and Apple equipment, stay tuned because I have a lot of old vintage Apple and Mac products that I've been using for 40 years. And I really don't ever throw anything away or delete anything. So I'm sure that I have all kinds of treasures that I can uncover. So let's get started. Let's see if it boots up. I've forgotten how long it takes these computers to even boot up. Maybe there's a problem. I would think the monitor would have come on by now. Well, let's try to reset it. Okay, I've reset it again. There it goes. And it's booting. This computer is running Mac OS 9.1, which I, my memory is correct, is the last version of Mac OS 9. Extensions are starting to pop up down here at the bottom, if anyone remembers those. This will be the time warning because this has been turned off for so long. I was setting the clock and I found something interesting. It says uh, under here in the network time server, it looks like this computer is last synced uh, powered up and used on the network in the year 2006. So that's the last time I must have actively have been using this computer. And as of today, it's the year 2021, so that's about 15 years ago. Looks like I even have a CD in here of uh, some software and games and stuff. Looks like I have two partitions on this hard drive. I did have an internet browser. Let's see what the browser opens. Internet Explorer 5. So it looks like this has software on it from at least the year 2000. Let's see it's on my hard drive. I have one of my favorite games, Carmageddon, and Bolo, also one of my favorite games. Let's see what's in the applications. I have Netscape, not much else, mostly the standard stuff. Let's see what's on this other hard drive. Not much. It doesn't even look like that one is bootable anymore. I wonder if I have multiple hard drives in here. Here's the control strip down here. 
It has been so long since I've seen the control strip. Let's take a look at what it did again. Okay, here you can turn your network on and off. Your network sharing, that is. Uh, operate the CD tray. Uh, this is turning your actual file sharing on and off. So I'm not real sure what the Apple Talk did. I think you could uh, connect to other computers with other applications other than file sharing. This is Keychain Access. You can store your passwords in there. Here's the Locations Manager. You can change how many colors your monitor actually uses. This one is your screen resolution. Selecting your printer. It's probably going to yell at me now. Uh, using your QuickTime player. Looks like this was actually pretty advanced. You could watch videos from all of these different networks. Here's the remote access. Changing your volume. Changing which microphone you're going to use. And turning your web server, your built-in web server, on and off. And, of course, you can click on this to hide your control strip. Minimize it to the corner. See what kinds of things I have on the CD. Looks like I have games. Hopefully there's some good games on here. Oh yeah, it looks like all these are pretty good stuff. They even have Wolfenstein on here. Let's see what's on the next partition. Bunch of Newton Palm software. Some MP3s. So I'm definitely going to get to some of these games. I haven't played these in a long time. Marathon 2. One of the best first-person shooters that there ever was. A lot of the stuff that people have forgotten about, but were really, really good games, especially compared to what modern games are. And especially not being connected to the internet where you can do co-op play. So let's see if we can find the disk utility. See if there's actually multiple hard drives in here. Yep, I actually have two hard drives in here. It wasn't multiple partitions. So this Macintosh hard drive is actually empty. And I'm booting off of this classic hard drive. Let's just refresh ourselves with what comes in the Apple menu. Obviously there's the About the Computer. This computer is a Power Mac 8500 and it has 288 megabytes of memory. I'm currently using about 35 megabytes and I have 250 free. Let's check out the profiler. So it looks like I actually have nine memory DIMMs in this computer. Everything from 16 meg chips to 64 meg chips. Here's the old calculator. It's been around since the very beginnings of the Macintosh. Chooser, the old printer menu. Here's all of the old control panels. Looks like I only have the standard Apple supplied control panels. Here's the on screen keyboard. Network browser, the way you use to connect to other computers on your network. The 
This made it really easy to find the other computers. You didn't have to worry about IP addresses or anything. Remote access. And here's something that I forgot about. This is, would be kind of handy today, the old scrapbook. You could actually copy things and save them in your scrapbook virtually forever. You could put whatever you wanted to copy in here and just leave it in here. Go back and grab it whenever you wanted to. It looks like it would let you pretty much put anything in there. Sherlock, the old search feature. We have Siri now today. This is a Sherlock 2. This is a much more advanced version of their search. And sticky notes, which are pretty much unchanged from today. Mac OS X comes with stickies, which is very similar to these old sticky notes. Before I go, let's launch one of these old games, Gerbils. This was a kind of a roller coaster 3D game. Wouldn't really call it a game, it's more like a demo. You can make these race tracks. Showed you a video of what's supposed to be a gerbil going around your racetrack. You could load up different tracks and Change the configuration of them over here. Let's see if I can get it to change tracks. Oh, I see. This is different uh, components, I guess, that you can put in. You click back over here to see what you've done to your track. I believe maybe these, oh, you can move these blocks around. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that's it for today. I hope to get the V-Sync issues with the monitor fixed before next time, figure out how to mount the camera properly. I have hundreds and hundreds of software. I don't know how many old vintage Macs I have, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun diving deep into what I've got and reliving some of these nostalgic moments from Macintosh days gone by. If you wanna see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.